What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dimes Reacts back with another video. Today we doing a a Drake versus Kendrick Lamar video. Who actually won the beef? Today we're gonna be talking about who won and, in my opinion, why they won. To me, this is the only valid this is the only valid round versus round breakdown. To me, there's five rounds. The first round would be first person shooter versus like that. The, I'll get into that later. But push ups versus Euphoria. Taylor May Freestyle versus 616 in LA. Family Matters versus Meet the Grams. The Heart Part 6 versus They Not Like Us. Please show like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Road 300 subscribers. Let's get into the video. Like I said in the intro, to me, this is the only valid breakdown of the songs that you could do. People might say First Person Shooter is not really a diss. I would agree with you. But. The, re the whole reason this beef started in the first place, or I like that, is because Kendrick Lamar felt some type of way about the first person shooter song. So, we gotta include that because Like That needs to have his own round because Like That was the spark of this all from Drake's perspective. First person shooter was the spark of all it. Like, if you ask Kendrick Lamar, he would say the start of all of this was first person shooter. If you ask Drake what was the start of this, he will say like that. So to me, that is that round is the if you want to say that's the way in round, I could buy that too. And push ups versus Euphoria was round one. I, I could get behind that too, but to me, push ups versus Euphoria, that was round one. But let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. This is strictly as a diss. This is strictly a diss battle, not which song is better in each round, which song I'd play more. Because when you get to Family Matters versus Meet the Grams, after hearing Meet the Grams, that's not a song you would add to the playlist. But Family Matters is. So this is strictly which diss is more of a better diss track. Anyway, please sure like, comment, subscribe, share. I feel like I've been talking too long. Until the official start, first person shooter versus like that. Like I said, to me, first person shooter wasn't really a diss, but I can understand why Kendrick felt some type of way. Because, you know, J. Cole versus Drake being as big as the Super Bowl pretty much implied that Ken out of the big three, since J. Cole mentioned the big three, it could be implied that they're saying he's third place out of the, the big the big three. That, okay, we big as the Super Bowl, but also me. Me, K. Dot, and Aubrey, J. Cole's words. Me, K. Dot, and Aubrey is the big three. So he's like, okay, what? Wait a minute. And then people are saying that everybody steppers, well, everybody breakfast line too. I could, I, I could see where he. I don't, I don't think J. Cole meant any ill will by that line. But if that's also why Kendra feels some type of way, I can get it. But, but like I said, J Drake hadn't really been putting out quality music to many people for the past couple years like a lot of people say CLB wasn't a memorable album for all the dogs honestly never mind now, a lot of people will say um the album with tw her loss is an okay album but it's not nothing too groundbreaking so I can see where Kendrick feels some type of way like how dare you mention this artist in the same sentence and like that is was the, the the impact of like that, plus how your first listen, it caught everybody off guard. The future and Metro booming song in 2024 featuring Kendrick Lamar. You wouldn't have thought. So that's why I gave that round to, to like that because it was a direct diss. It was a direct diss to both J. Cole and Drake. And like it had the internet wondering like, hey, Y'all got to respond. What's next from... It had people wondering, what's next from here? So that's why I got to give round one to like that. Round two is push-ups versus euphoria. To me, I give euphoria the W. Push-ups was a great song. But Drake was coming at like six, seven... The Weeknd. Uh, Rick Ross. Kendrick, Future, Metro. I said the weekend. 
I might have said the weekend. Like, he was coming at, like, six or seven people already. So, and Kendrick was only had one. Well, he kind of had a line in there for J. Cole, but the, his main target was clearly Drake. And plus, Euphoria was really the start of all this to me. So, Euphoria wins that round. Plus, people people criticize that round because in their eyes, matter of fact, matter of fact, people criticize that round because off the strength of Kendrick didn't say anything new that people wasn't already saying before. I'm like, well, goodness, how much stuff do y'all expect to be exposed about Drake? That's kind of crazy to me that y'all... Going to every beef expecting something new to be exposed about Drake. But Euphoria kind of touched on a lot of the topics that people already was criticizing about Drake. And it took it to another level. The funny moments. The sexy red line. In fact, I ain't even bleed him yet. Can I bleed him? When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. All that. Push-ups had some memorable moments as well metro metro t b being downplayed is shut up and make some drum metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga yeah. um he dropped pip squeak pipe down that that's an underrated bar throughout this beef but i gotta give for a, a diss record i have to give it to euphoria round three Taylor made freestyle versus 616 in LA. To me, this was like a sidebar round. Honestly, like this is a side round. Cause like they weren't really dissing each other in this. Taylor made's whole purpose was, all right, Kendrick, it's been a week. It's been a week and you still hadn't responded yet. It's been a whole week. Where you at? Or is it because Taylor Swift just dropped her album? Is that why you didn't respond? That's why you're not responding. It was to bait him into responding, which some people would say the bait worked. But to me, Kendrick was going to respond regardless. And to me, as a disrespectful track, using Kendrick Lamar's idols' voices to bait him to respond was a good chess move. I'll give it that. That was very much a good chess move. <coughs> and I get what he was trying to do. But in a lot of people's eyes, it's like, hey. This promoted AI, and you know, a lot of people feel some type of way about AI, but it got to go to 616 in LA because, you know, the narrative behind this song, I mean, like I said, it's not really a diss track. It's more so using the timestamps thing against Drake. What's crazy? That was, that was a diss within itself, but to... To me, it's like the mini Drake said in Taylor May, come with a qu you better come with a quant quintuple entendre that I don't even understand that. Somebody gotta break it down. And basically, Kendrick did just that with 16 616 in LA. Round four, this is a close round. I'll give it that. Kendrick, Kendrick stepped right over Family Matters. I'm not gonna lie. Family Matters is a better song than Meet the Grams, but Meet the Grams is a better diss track, if that makes if what I'm saying makes sense. Like Meet the Grams, like people gonna say the daughter thing not being true invalid. Like Drake stands were saying that. The daughter thing not being true invalidates the whole song. But to me, coming in first verse, your first words is Dear Adonis, you you're you're writing a letter to the people that mean most in Drake's life, his son, his mom, his dad, dear, dear the daughter. I mean, if you want to take that verse away, okay, that part got debunked, but writing a letter to Drake too. So it's like, as an overall diss track, I got to go meet the Grams. But as a song, Drake won that. Meet, I will play... Family Matters much more than Meet the Grams. Meet the Grams is not a song you add to the playlist, but Family Matters is. Family Matters, to me, if if 
Kendrick didn't drop within that 20 minutes like he did. To me, me personally, Family Matters was probably the best overall, like, play replay value, all that. Family Matters was probably the best track to come from this overall beef. But as a diss track, it was cool. Still addressing so many different sidebar people. We wanted a diss track strictly focused on Kendrick. But... It was, especially that second verse, I I could play that back. And then the funniest line of that song was, the highlight of that song was, Kendrick just opened his mouth, <laughs> basically downplaying his Grammys. That was a funny bar to me. Hey, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Where's your uncle at? Because I want to talk to the man in the house. But... As overall, this track, Meet the Grams, is the better track to me. Last but not least, we got The Heart Part 6 versus They Not Like Us. The Heart Part 6 was a terrible response to the allegations. Basically, you implied that you can't be you can't be a PDF, uh, EDP or whatever, because you're too famous for it. As, in, as if these allegations aren't already out there about Diddy. And all these other famous peoples, and for you to say, I predicted you take that Epstein angle. Crazy. And you know, Drake is that type of person to bring receipts for everything. So for him to say that we planted you that information, I at first, first listen, I was kind of like, dang. What if he did plan on that information? But then I thought about it some more. I'm like, people were saying this on Instagram and Twitter. So Drake took the narrative from Instagram and Twitter and ran with it versus they not like us to me shouldn't be a party song but somehow it was made into a party song i don't know why people got that as a party song but especially because of the serious subject matter that that song is about like i cannot dance to they not like us i'm sorry i mean if, if you're gonna loop this step this way step that way part sure but even then me me personally knowing the context of what the song is about i can't do it but this song to me was like i'm gonna beat drake with his own game like drake is the known hit maker i'm gonna make a, i'm gonna make a hit this track but to me kendrick wins this round too I'm unbiased. I'm I'm a fan of both of these dudes. I must say, I'm a dude. I'm a rank all ten of these songs from best from worst to best, and then we are gonna end this video. And then I'm gonna do a tier. The next video I do, gonna be, and then hopefully after that video, we can turn return back to our normal content. We're gonna do a tier list from every song in this beef, but we're gonna rank every song from worst to best. And I'm going to end this video off. And then I feel like in the next video too, I'm going to give my overall thoughts on the beef as a whole. So yeah. The worst song was the heart part six. Like I said, as a song itself, terrible as a diss terrible. Because like people are saying they hated that he went in self-defense mode. But with the allegations on him, you kind of had to. Kendrick has to as well address the what Drake is accusing him of. But to me, I mean, that is a chess move. In, the hard part six is a chess move within itself because to me, Kendrick can't, it squashed the whole heart series. People are saying, okay, he might do it in Roman numerals or something. But to me, when you hear the hard part six from now on, you're going to think of that track. So now it sucks we're not going to ever get a hard part six out of Kendrick. So we got to enjoy one through five. But, um, as a diss track, like I say, terrible response to the allegations, which probably is why Kendrick is not going to respond to his allegations because there's no right way to, there's probably no, there's no right w way to address what they're being accused of, if that makes sense. So yeah, ninth, we got first person shooter. First person shooter is probably out of this, all of this is probably th the best song or one of the best songs to come out of all of this. But as an overall diss track, I got to put it at knife because to me, it's not a diss track. Like I said, 
I could see why Kendrick felt some type of way. But to me, I wouldn't label it a diss track. It was just like, oh, we three goats. We the three goats. But I feel but I feel like I'm like J. Cole said, I feel like I'm the goat of goats, if that makes sense. But at eighth, we're going Taylor made freestyle. Feel like like I said, that wasn't really a diss either. It was more so baiting Kendrick in the hey man. You we you you want a beef. Act like it. Next six sixteen in LA is another warning shot to the Drake like leave the family out of this man. You you got and then it was warning Kendrick. I mean it was warning Drake like look you got leaks within your circle feeding me information. And I know you're trying to get information on me, but I live a boring life, so you're not gonna come back with nothing. That's what is what he was saying. So to me, that's not a diss either. But it's better than the songs before it. That's basically there. Six is like that. Like that overall impact. The the fuel that started all of this, basically. Like if there was no like that. This beef wouldn't have happened. Like, and then, like I say, it had the internet wondering for like a week, two weeks straight. What was J Cole going? What's J Cole's next move gonna be? What's Drake's next move gonna be? Which at first, the funny part was, people was expecting Drake to lay low. But I'm like, when has Drake ever lay low in beef? And then people was also downplaying Drake. Like, look, the real battle is gonna be Kendrick versus. It's gonna be Kendrick versus um. Kendrick versus J. Cole is the real battle. But when J. Cole apologized, all eyes immediately went back to Drake. Like, hey, man. Don't tell me the boogeyman got you spooked, too. <laughs> but looking back at it, him getting, J. Cole getting out of there was a smart move, like I said. I'm going to go more into detail of my thoughts on the overall beef in the next video. But I, this is more so just ranking every song. Like, ranking best every song from best or worse and talking about who won Kendrick won the beef and like I said Kendrick won every round it's like a boxing match I'm gonna compare it to a boxing match let's say every round was close but the same fighter won all 12 rounds that's what I'm gonna compare this to or maybe meet the grams if you want to say every round was close then meet the grams was the knockout punch and then they not like us was the DQ, like pretty much after the fight was over, the two boxers got so much beef with each other that he keep laying, he gets, he keep laying in punches even when the man is knocked out. If you want to say that, but every round was that's why I got to do a tier list video separate to show that this beef is actually close than people think. But at five we got push ups. I feel like a great. Resp it was a great rebuttal to like that. To me, push-ups was a great response to like that. Push-ups versus like that. If if that was the round, Drake Drake would have had that round. But first, per but like that was a response to first person shooter. So that's why I couldn't do that. And push-ups had to go against Euphoria because that was the first official diss track on both camps. So that's why I had to say that. At four, we got Euphoria. A great opening song for Kendrick. Because people was wondering for like 17 days of no Kendrick. And on the eighth, was it 17 days before he finally hit us with one? And it was a good it was a good opening punch. I'll say that was a good opening round. Euphoria and push-ups are close in tracks. Push-ups probably, you could go back. Well, you, I can't even say that. Because I feel like I don't listen to Euphoria more. And even to this day, every time I listen to Euphoria, there's a new takeaway. That was my that was my beef with him with dropping 616 in LA too. I'm like, you dropping 616 when people still trying to digest that steak of a meal you drop with Euphoria. But number three, we got Family Matters. To me, Family Matters is the best. Like, it was a good song. Honestly, at the moment Family Matters drop, you could say Drake was up in the beef. I would even say Drake was up in the beef. But 
20 minutes later, Meet the Grams came out. And that just stopped any momentum that that Drake had. And at number two, we got They Not Like Us. Because Meet the Grams, obviously, Meet the Grams is the only song that's left. But They Not Like Us coming in at two. And Meet the Grams coming in at number one. Because Meet the Grams was a very dark, sinister, disrespectful song. And it did what it was supposed to do. Like I said, that's how you do a diss track. And like all these talks of, hey, you got to make a hit. I'm like, since when what did a diss, diss track have to be a hit song? Like that so like that was a goal post, goal post move for Drake's fans. But they not like us. Kendrick showed that I can get in Drake's bag too. I can do the same thing Drake does. But... That's my official rankings, and like I said, <coughs> I'm going I'm to probably drop both of these videos on the same day, so the link to the tier list will be in the description of this video, so you can see how close this beef truly was.